Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a timeless general love reading um, for Sagittarius. You could have Sagittarius in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placements. Um, Sagittarius, please keep in mind these readings are general, so take what resonates, leave the rest if it's not your story. Do not try to make it fit. Um, everything is subject to free will and the will of the divine. No one is free from law of cause and effect. And um, roles can be reversed. And what that means is this could be something that you're doing or going on around you. This could be something that your person is doing, going on around them. Um, if you're single, this could even be something about an ex possibly, but it doesn't have to be. Um, this could even be like a family member, friend, coworker, boss, because, you know, we do care about other people and we do love our friends and family. It could be, you know, maybe even a neighbor that you care about. Um, something that maybe that they're going through in their love life or something that's going on around them. So please keep it, please keep that in mind. This definitely can be something that's happened in the past, something currently going on, and this definitely can be coming towards you in the future. Um, my readings can tend to be very future predictive, as I've been told, so keep that in mind. All right. If you need or want to get a reading that is tailored specifically to your energy and or your situation, um, my email is in the description box below. I am running a, 50 per, a winter sale. Um, all my readings are 50% off for my subscribers. Um, so all that will be below and that sale ends the end of the year. And I'm also, if there's going to be an extended to this reading, uh, the link to that will be in the description box below as well as the comment section below. And I'm also running a sale on those. Typically if the reading there or the extended is 20 minutes and under, um, it is $7 and 77 cents. And, or if it is 21 minutes and over it, the extended it is eleven dollars and eleven cents, but as of right now, um, till the end of the year, all of my extendeds, um, when I do them, will be four dollars and forty-four cents. So that will also be below if I, you know, if Spirit wants me to do an extended for this video. Okay. All right. Nothing me talking. Let's see what's going on with you and love. <sighs> wow. Okay. What's going on? Okay. Let's see. All right, let's see. Spirit, what's going on for Sagittarius and love, please? Okay, so you have seven of wands in the reverse, and then they have the ten of cups in the upright. Okay. So it could be an Aries or a Pisces that you're dealing with, but it doesn't have to be. Don't don't get stuck on the signs. Um, this I feel like this is regarding family. Okay, so we do love our family members, right? Um, so you, I'm not gonna tell you what you need to do, but there's a lack of you know defending your point. I don't know if that makes sense, or well, you really don't have to explain yourself if you're you know you're grown adult, right? You don't really have to explain yourself to your family. Your decisions or lack thereof, it's your life, your choices, right? But also, too, there's a need to have proper boundaries with your family. With the Seven of Wands reversed, with the Ten of Cups in the upright, there is a very strong need to have boundaries with your family. So they're crossing the line. Yeah, and they, they want you to reject something with the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. They want you to reject an offer. But you're still thinking about it or they want you to consider rejecting something that you feel would be good for you or you feel that you it's something that you want to do now if it's romantic this person promised you family they promised you connection they promised you all these things maybe they even promised you commitment but with the ace of pentacles reverse it never came to fruition because you were being juggled they had there was more than one option here. All right, why is the seven of wands reverse, please? Nine of swords reverse. You have a lot of mental anguish over the situation about boundaries, or a lot of this person. This person, you really got to protect yourself from this individual or these family members, or really assert yourself, like your boundaries, your limits, your you know you know your personal power, because you got people either in family or a romantic partner. Um, you know, that just, they don't respect your choices here or your wishes is what I'm just hearing. They don't respect your wishes. 
And whatever it is you're doing, if it's regarding business and family, I feel like will be very beneficial to you financially. We'll create a lot of stability for you. This is not, you know, a financial career, or, you know, of legal advice, okay? So keep that in mind. Um, but also, too, yeah, it will make you very, very, very stable. Very, very stable. And it will relieve a lot of burdens for you. And, um, you know, don't fight with nobody, okay? But also, too, you... <laughs> I'm not going to tell you what to do, but in order to re to re to either regain this stability and or obtain it, I you're being asked to drop the drama. Now, I feel like that's not regarding family. Well, it could be family or romantic partners, okay? Because it's not serving you. It's keeping you in a nine of swords reverse, which is extreme mental torment, extreme mental anguish, anxiety, stress, not able to sleep, okay? Why is the ten of cups here, please? Yeah, look, four of pentacles reverse. You can't please everybody, Sagittarius. Temperance, there you are. You need to focus on yourself and healing. Also, I don't know why I'm hearing this. You can't care for everybody financially or, you know, emotionally, right? you got to take care of you. I Please, please take care of yourself because you really do need to drop uh, engaging in drama. Okay? In any capacity. Yeah, look. Focus on your healing with the temperance and high priestess and the devil reverse. Focus on that. Okay? Because it really, it really will, it really will help you. Okay? Because if it's family, they don't want you to have whatever this is that's going to be very financially sound for you. Very, you know, very financially sound for you. Or that's, you know, a good financial move for you. If that's, you know, what you choose to do. Um, and if it's romantically, this person, whomever you've been dealing with, okay, they were never going to offer you at this point. And what I'm seeing from the cards, they weren't going to offer you commitment. Because you go from the nine, you have the, the ace of pentacles and the nine of pentacles here, right? But the ace of pentacles is in, is in reverse. That's the offer of commitment. Because that will make it the ten. They weren't going to offer you that. They just wanted you to think that. And meanwhile, they juggled you. So, you know what I'm saying? Like... You got to do you. You have to do you. Whatever that is for you. Okay? And it has to be your decision. And it has to be a decision that is best for you. And people don't got to like it. That's true. People may not like it. That's also true. But at the same time, it's really not their place to dictate your life. You see what I'm saying? It's really not their place. Anyone's place. You are responsible for your life you are responsible for your choices or lack thereof okay nobody else you are responsible and accountable for yourself your actions your decision your decisions your words your choices people that you entertain involved with that you that you allow yourself to get involved with you are responsible for those choices nobody else okay now this person is you know you're not responsible for them Whomever this person is or this family member or these family members. You're not responsible to make them happy. You are not responsible to care for them or to even care about their opinion. You may, it, you know, you may want their advisement or their guidance or their wisdom. You know, whatever, right? There's nothing wrong with maybe asking for, for guidance. But here's the thing. When you ask people for guidance, you open them up to having an opinion. You see what I'm saying? And then when they have an opinion that you maybe you don't like, you see, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, look, somebody here is rejecting the truth. We got the Seven of Swords reverse with the Ace of Wands reverse. Rejecting the truth. This is rejection of truth here. Or the truth is that this lover was going to reject you. They, I'm sorry, two aces in reverse. They had no intentions of ever taking action to really ever be committed to you. And that's very hurtful. I understand. And, you know, it, it's really like rocked your, you know, it's wounded you. Okay. It's hurt your feelings pretty deeply. You need to work on those boundaries. Okay. Because judgment in reverse. You, you can't make everybody happy. So why try? You're responsible for your own happiness and no one else's. And that's all you can be. You know? 
Your family may be worried that you might be making a bad decision. Maybe you are, maybe you're not. You don't know until you try, right? And if you're dealing with somebody who has played you in any way, shape, or form, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, they made a bad judgment call. Yeah, they did. They made a bad choice. They made a very bad choice. But there's also, too, the judgment can talk about needing to accept the wake-up call, accept the lesson here. And there is almost a rejection of that. I don't know if that's by you or by your person, but there's like an almost a rejection of it. Yeah. There's shame associated as well, you know. I understand. Shit happens, you know. And that's not a take away or minimize. Let me reframe. That's not what I mean. Okay. People make mistakes. You make mistakes. Your person makes mistakes. The family makes mistakes. Whatever. Right? Whomever is making mistakes. But to feel shame over them is not going to serve you. Having maybe remorse if you feel bad or this person feeling shame is not going to serve them. You know what I'm saying? Having guilt and remorse is different from shame. You know? If you want this person, whomever is, who has juggled you or whatever the case may be or rejected you, rejected commitment, whatever the case may be, you want an apology from this person, you're probably not going to get it. And it's time, it is time to accept the apology that you will never receive. More than likely, you probably will never receive. You know what I'm saying? And I, it, it's a lot easier said than done. And I know that. That's so hard. I'm actually currently going through a process right now where I'm trying to do that myself. And it is incredibly hard. But I'm trying. So I, I'm, I'm not saying that that is an easy task. Because it is not an easy task. It is not, especially if you've been done pretty dirty. You know what I'm saying? It, it's not. It's not an easy task. So, I'm not making light of that by any stretch or any of the situation. Now, if it's regarding, like, family here, again, there's a need to assert yourself and have those boundaries, you know, and require them to respect them. They love you. I'm sure they do. I know you love them, too. They need to respect them. And that goes with anybody. Family, friends, lovers, partners, working colleagues, and, you know, whatever, work peers. That goes with everybody. But back to the love thing, if you were hoping that this person was going to do that, to commit to you, no. That's a no. That's a no. I'm sorry. Why is the Ace of Pentacles reversed? Yeah. Hangman reversed. This is someone who's incredibly selfish. A traitor. They don't think about anybody but themselves. And that's what that was. In love. You know? Why is the Two of Coins here? Yeah. King of Pentacles. Or King of Coins in reverse. This is someone who's very greedy, very jealous, very selfish. Not very stable. And nine of swords in reverse at the bottom of that. Quite petty and very deceptive regarding love with Ace of Cups. So, I hate to say that it was kind of doomed from the start. But that's what I just heard. But I don't really feel that. I feel like... I don't want to say it was doomed to the start, but that's what they said, and I got chills from it, so maybe that's what they're meaning, but what I mean is, like, I don't really feel that, though. I don't know why they would say that, because I don't really feel it. You can only but do so much, you know? You can only accept so much. You can only give so much. You can only cry so much. You can only scream, beg, plead, borrow so much. You know? I don't know why I want to say that. I don't know what that whole message was about. I don't feel like it was doomed to start, and I don't mean that. I don't know why they said that. I don't I don't understand. Can you explain? Help me out here a little bit. Um 
understand what, what are you saying? What? This person romantically that you've been dealing with or have dealt with or, or maybe you're about to, be careful. They had an objective or an agenda, an objective, and they got that objective, unfortunately, and it was at the cost of you, unfortunately. So, you know, they weren't really who they claimed to be. Sagittarius. They weren't they weren't who they said that they were. Mm -mm. It's like the the relationship, the whole thing was a lie. The whole thing was a lie. The whole thing was a lie. I think that's what they meant by when they said it was doomed from the start because the whole thing was a lie. But I don't really believe that it's doomed because that's what they're saying. But I don't really feel that way. But I, I do understand and feel that they that the whole thing was built on a lie, and it was a lie. Nine of Wands reverse. You know, that was the objective. They just wanted what they wanted, and that's all that mattered to them. And unfortunately, and as heartbreaking as tragically tragic as it is, it was at the expense of you. Unfortunately, you know. And that's wrong. That is wrong. That is. And it's hurtful. It's really hurtful. Yeah. So it, I feel like for you, it would be beneficial if you tried. And you don't, you are not obligated to forgive nobody. Let me just say that. Let me just say that. You are not obligated, obligated to forgive nobody. No. But I would recommend you forgiving yourself. You know, what else? Yeah, two of wands in the reverse and then the shadow side in reverse. That's releasing, that's choosing to release very toxic, toxic energy because it, it doesn't belong. And you got to release that stuff within you. And that person is just, it, I, I know I sound like a horrible person when I say this. It was all a lie. It really was. It was a ruse. It was a lie. It was a show. Unfortunately. I don't know. Maybe they will apologize someday with the Page of Cups and the bottom of the deck with the seven, but the Seven of Swords behind that is also a lie. So if they were to apologize to you, if they were to apologize to you, it wouldn't be honest. So again, apologize to yourself. Forgive yourself. It will take time. It will take a massive amount of time. Try to accept an apology that you may never receive. And that does not mean that you have to forgive. If you choose, you can. But you don't have to. I do not. Some things are unforgivable, I feel, in, in life. Not everything, but there's a lot of things. But most importantly, forgive yourself. Set yourself free. Free yourself from this. Free yourself from this. You don't need to carry this person's toxicity in your heart anymore. You don't need to do anything you don't have to do anything that you don't want to do you don't have to believe be think say have whatever nothing that you are not okay with you see what i'm saying holding on to this person's toxic energy within you or holding on to what this person has done that doesn't mean you forget that doesn't mean you condone and give consent whatsoever no but it's time to let go release yourself for free yourself from this person's power take your power back please because you deserve to be happy you deserve to have a prosperous abundant fulfilling happy you're the luckiest sign of the Zodiac, Sagittarius, life. 
Let go of this fucking monster, okay? I'm sorry, but let go of the monster. Don't let it turn you into somebody and something that you no longer recognize when you look in the mirror. Don't let it eat you up. Don't let it eat you up. Do you understand? Don't let what they have done and or not done by this monstrous person eat you up. Because then they win. And we ain't going to let that happen. We are not going to let them win. Mm -mm, we are not going to let them win. You're going to win, Sagittarius. You are going to be the victor and victorious. Right? I believe in you. I really do. I believe... I got chills. I'm, I'm on the verge of tears. <clears throat> I believe in you. I have hope for you. I have love and compassion for you. And I... Oh, this one on. And I know in my heart that you can and will overcome this. Whatever this is. Whether it's, you know, dealing with family stuff. Friends stuff. This romantic person stuff. Okay. You can overcome it. Wait, what am I doing? Let's see. Who... Okay. You will you will overcome this. It's gonna take some time. It's gonna take some time. Okay, it's gonna take a good bit of time. A good bit of time. Okay. And trust me, you know I'm gonna do you a solid right now. I'm gonna do you a solid right now. I'm not gonna take this into the extended. But I got these little cards. I am not the arbiter of karma, okay? I am not the dictator or the arbiter of karma. I just put it out there. Okay. <laughs> but karma is a goddess and she never, ever loses an address. She never forgives and she never forgets. So, I do have these little karma cards from Etsy. And some of them are kind of funny. Some of them not so much. But I'm going to take a couple cards. Let's see. What is this person that has done Sagittarius so wrong? What's their karma? I don't feel like this is, I feel like this is a romantic person or a romantic person. What is their karma for what they've done? Oh, shit. They're going to be haunted. Like, literally haunted. Okay, what else? Yeah, they're going to lose their freedom. Freedom revoked. Also, I feel like they're going to be spiritually bound. I don't know what that means, but that's what I heard. Uh, run in with the law. Yeah, they're also going to go to jail, possibly. They could end up in jail. And they're going to have minor injuries. That's how you know it started. That's what I just heard. They're going to have horrifying nightmares. They might have a trip and fall. And then they're going to have a bad fall. So, it ain't going to go so well for them. Okay? So, if you were thinking that, let me just tell you. No injustice goes unanswered by karma. Period. We don't get to dictate, though. You know? We don't get to dictate. Alright. Let's see. I could already do this. No. Okay. All right, who is Sagittarius dealing with, please, regarding this reading? It could be a Taurus, a Capricorn, Aquarius, a Sagittarius, another Sagittarius. Okay, we got Virgo, and then we also have Leo that wanted to come out. And Aries at the bottom of the deck. So we have all the fire signs out. We got Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius, another Sagittarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Aquarius, and Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. And your chart, their chart, whomever else's chart. Okay, let's see. Now, I have Scrabble titles. So, Spirit, what do you have for Sagittarius? So, this could be first, middle, last initial of your name, their name. Okay. Sagittarius. Make additional words. Sagittarius. Gotcha. Okay. Here we go. Let me turn them all facing upwards. Yeah. No justice, or excuse me, no injustice goes unanswered. 
I promise you. I promise you. We got the letter G, U, E, X, B, what are O's? O, O again, one more time. O, E, E, D, R, B, Y, S, I. Okay. Alrighty. Now let me get some guidance real quick. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius. Ooh. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius regarding this reading. Regarding this reading. Guidance, please, for Sagittarius regarding this reading. We have, what does it say? Rebirth in the reverse. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Allow the rebirth to happen, okay? Don't don't try to fight it. it. It makes it, well, you can do whatever you want, but from my personal experience, it makes it way more painful than, than need be necessary. I know firsthand. Talks about awakening and resurrection. Now, it says, when rebirth is in reverse, it is a reminder that transformation is neither painless nor easy. One must die before a resurrection can occur, not like an actual death. One must leave behind their former self as a sacrifice for something better, more divine. This card reminds you that you have to be willing to change who you are if your goal is to improve your life, the life you have. Challenges are a part of growth that cannot be avoided. It is a necessary transition that serves not only your highest good, but all of the collective. Don't fight the rebirth. It won't be painless and it won't be easy. But you can avoid unnecessary pain and unnecessary uneasiness if you don't fight it. Allow the change to take place. Okay? All right, well, Sagittarius, that has been your reading. I really hope that it helps you in any way that it can. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I love you dearly. Dearly, dearly, Sagittarius, okay? Please, please, please take care of yourself. Until next time.